something so cool if you've been watching my channel for the last couple sort of years you've seen that I was able to get a 2021 Shelby GT 500 it was amazing one of the best cars I've ever driven Shelby performance is the top of the top you know big supercharged V8s absolutely gorgeous performance um, you know just 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 the, the, the top end of, of um, you know automotive performance today I've got something even more special and it's a unicorn. It's the older 2007 GT500. Still with a supercharged V8, pushing 500 horsepower, 480 foot-pounds of torque. But this isn't any odd uh, GT500. This one is absolutely kept in mint condition. It's only got 7,000 miles on it. The paintwork is perfect, as you're gonna see. The interior is perfect. It's a manual transmission, six-speed manual. It's an absolute beauty. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button because we're going to take a full tour with the owner of this beautiful 2007 Shelby GT500. What an absolute beautiful beast. Let's go. Alright, so taking a little look-see here around the car. Again, the car is still mint condition. It came in the white livery with the Ford racing stripes in blue down the center. It's it's absolutely flawless. It hasn't it has no scuffs, no curb rashes, no nothing. The GT500 badging there, very similar to the new one. It's got that that uh, super snake there, right? The paintwork is a hundred percent coming around. Again, you got beautiful Shelby badging in the back, right? When you get up behind this thing, you're like, geez, is this thing? If you don't see the badging, you hear the supercharged V8. Um, it's got this beautiful exhaust with a nice splitter here. All this stuff is from stock. Nothing, it's all OEM. Nothing has been changed. Nothing has been modded out. The owner wanted to keep it beautiful, wanted to keep it pristine. It's been garage kept for a long time. He, he, was, he bought it off a collector and thought he wanted to, to really drive it a lot. And then just kind of, you know, sur sur almost started to, to take pride in the vehicle and, and eventually just wanted to keep it brand new. You know, when you drive these vehicles, when you drive a vehicle and, and you want to keep it new, you, just, you have a lot to deal with on the road. Little, little scuffs, little rock chips, whether you're behind a garbage truck, trying to maneuver around some stupid guy who's blocking two lanes and you scuff your rim on the other side. Like, there's so many little things that can ruin the, the, the beautifulness of a car. And this thing is 10 out of 10 right now. All right, let's take a little look-see in the interior here. And so this is how it was done in 2007. Everything is analog. You can see that the, the, the plastic is still there, right? You can see that that, that is a, a true telling sign of how mint this car is. The leathers are all perfect. You get a beautiful Super Snake badge on both leathers. You can see the high quality leather here. Seats are really, really bolstered. There's your six speed manual. There's your, your shifter knob, right? You get the GT500 on the, the center stack there. Very analog, so there's not a whole lot going on the steering wheel going on. It's very basic, but this is kind of what you're after, right? When you're when you're in a car this old, this is the stuff that, that you need. You don't need all the safety features. You don't want any of the safety features. You just want a beautiful car with an amazing engine that's going to perform. 
It's gonna give you that sound and give you that feeling of, of horsepower and torque. All right guys, so this would not be a Shelby GT500 video without looking at the most amazing part of the car. And that's the engine. You can obviously see the nice, the nice scoops here, the nice air valves allow a lot of air to come in, to come through to the engine. Oh, she's hot, she's hot. This car gets really hot. Let's just pull up that strut. Oh, we just went for a little drive in and it's warm, warm. I see why they put so much functional venting here, right? How's it going? Good, thanks. A lot of functional venting through there, through the bottom end here. Obviously with the supercharged V8, this thing is getting absolutely, you can feel here a lot of heat shielding here on the top, right? Nice gloss, gloss, um, gloss black uh, engine strut there to keep everything down, keep everything from rattling or getting loose, and feast your eyes on that beautiful SVT Shelby Performance engine, the power plant of this absolute beast. Okay, there you have it. That was the interior, exterior sort of rundown of the, the whole spec of the GT500. I think without further ado, we get this man, Mr. Patterson here, the owner, who's petting a dog right now, such a sensitive guy and uh, take it for a nice little spin and learn a little bit more about this absolutely amazing Shelby GT500. Let's go. Here we are in the 2007 GT500. Bit of a relic, bit of a unicorn. Um, this one's obviously almost in mint condition. We're here with the owner, John Patterson. How's it going, John? He's taking us for a little drive here. How you doing, John? It's, I'm doing well. Good, good, good. So tell us a little bit about your journey. Tell us about this car and how you've managed over 15 years, plus or minus, to keep it so gorgeous, so mint looking after all this time. Well, I actually have only owned it for three years, but I bought it from a uh, collector. Okay. And um, um, it, I, I believe it's been garaged its whole life. If you uh, look at the condition of the paint and whatnot, there's not a ding or a scratch on it. And I kept it in a garage for the last three years and uh, very happy with the condition of it. Um, yeah, yeah, looking around, it's, it's absolutely mint. I, I've, for the last 20, 30 minutes, I've combed over it. I've, you know, I've, I've looked at every detail, rims, interior, and I can't find one scuff other than a little bit of dust that can be wiped off. The car is literally mint condition. So, I mean, credit to you for keeping it so, so beautiful. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's sort of bittersweet uh, thinking about selling it, but um, you know, I, I just find that I don't drive it enough, and a car like this needs to be driven and does. enjoyed. And uh, yeah, yeah. So the GT500 is obviously, you know, it's a it's a real famous car for for Ford. Obviously, the new ones now are are demanding a really really high premium they're they're very sought after still keeping with the the supercharged v8 now they're they're in and around 780 uh, almost 800 horsepower so and truly amazing amazing cars if you guys are actually watching this and you're really into it there I have a video I'll link it right here to the new one but um, I think a lot of people watching this video either have an older one or have a newer one and, and are looking to add to their collection I look to have both of them um, which would be you know again from a collector standpoint is a, a really really nice sort of prize piece and this one obviously has that nice white livery with the blue sort of stripes which is very sort of reminiscent of, of Ford right the classic Ford colors um, so mileage would you say it's 7950 wow wow as we're driving unbelievable unbelievable yeah, so it's 15 years old and has less than 8,000 miles on it. That's great. That's great. And in addition to that, it's it's a six-speed manual as well, right? Which yes. Is, which is something that I think a lot of people who want to drive this car are, are really looking for it to, uh, in order to really enjoy the experience, right? right? Right. To really rev out that that beautiful sort of Shelby engine. That's why you buy these cars, right? Yeah. In terms of like you know the, the feel of the car, it's you know it comes in at about four thousand pounds. Does it does it feel pretty nimble? I mean, obviously relative to newer stuff, does it? How does it feel? Well, I've had Mustangs throughout my life, and generally the ones in the '60s. And obviously, you can't compare them to this because 
it's so much tighter and uh, so much safer. Yeah. Um, it has the airbags and uh, you know just the, the newer suspension and whatnot. So yeah. uh, I love the the drive of it. It really hugs the road and. Um, I think that being said, a lot of people, you know, again, we go back to the, the fact that this is so sought after because it's analog, because it doesn't have a limited slip differential, because you have to sort of respect the vehicle. If you if you don't respect it, it, it the, the car can kind of kill you, right? So it can get away from you for sure. It really can. So I mean, that, that that is something that a lot of people want, right? You know, the new cars now, you, you can hoon around, and you know they have aids and things that are doing for doing things for you. But if you take this to the track or if you're driving it. You, you know you really have to be you know driving and focusing on what you're trying to do right and enjoying right. the experience and I live close to route 476 and uh, I don't think I ever go fast enough to put it into fifth gear Wow so, oh, you know, so one through four power. is uh, plenty even on 476 which uh, you know you can get up to 80 on that and uh, not be bothered by the police so yeah nice nice mm -hmm. Well, maybe when this light turns uh, green, we can uh, we can give her a little something. Go through a couple gears. Okay. <laughs> Love to. So even at idle, you can just you can really hear that very sort of distinctive sort of supercharge. There it is. You can hear that that real deep sort of. They say there's no replacement for displacement, and this is this truly is the a classic definition of that, right? It just this thing just purrs. It has such a nice sound. Um, when you hear one of these go by, you, you kind of know that yeah. that's distinct sort of V8, but the, the the Shelby sort of sound. It's it's like ultimate sort of performance, right? It's really really nice. Uh, so talk to us about. Um, you know, ha have you had it serviced um, a few times? You know, do you have all your service records and everything? Has it been to a dealership? Well, as I mentioned earlier, I've only driven it about 300 miles since I bought it over three years ago. So um, I do have a mechanic that I use who does the state inspections. Yeah. And um, I got the oil change when I first got the car. Um, and uh, since then, I've only driven a couple hundred miles, so. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah. So everything is just up to date, everything's, everything's up to date, working it's inspected. fine. When I first had it inspected, I said, go over the whole car and, and let me know if it needs anything. Yeah. If fluids need to be changed or whatever, and so we did what, um, what had to be done, and then since then, uh, it's just state inspection each year. So guys, this car actually is, in fact, for sale. Um, it's going to be listed on, on Bring a Trailer in the coming weeks. Um, he's looking to obviously to sell it, you know, because he's not using it enough. He wants to turn it into something a little bit more sort of practical for himself, whatever that may be. Um, if you're interested in the car, keep, keep an eye open on Bring a Trailer and then in the coming weeks. Um, also, you can message me in, in the comments section or you can get in touch with, uh, with me through, through the YouTube channel here. Um, but I think this car is, I think it's gonna sell pretty quickly. I think it's um, I think it's a bit of a gem. I think people are gonna recognize that pretty quickly. Uh, I think you got something pretty special in your hands here. I bought it used, I, I was looking at, thinking about getting a new one. I thought this was half the price of a new one. Yeah. And I thought, you know, I'll just drive it when, um, when I feel like it. The problem is it was in such good condition. I didn't want to get it scratched. I yeah. didn't, so I didn't drive it a lot. Yeah. And no matter how much you baby your car, daily driving it, there's just there's always going to be something there. You know, whether it's an idiot on the road or, mm -hmm. you know, if you have to again, if you have to like just nudge around someone and you end up just scuffing your ring slightly, it's it's very difficult to keep a car. I think this perfect. And um, anyway, so credit to you for doing that, my God. So just a few little specs here. Um, MPG is 15 in the city, 21 on the highway, six speed manual, we talked about that. If you're looking to do zero to 60 times, which anyone who's getting the, in this car driving it is, is probably a, you know thinking about that at least, 4.6 seconds. Um, obviously the, the tires are, you need a good tarmac, you need a good surface, the tires are perfect. So you're gonna be able to get close to that, if not better. I think Shelby has been known, just like Porsche, to underrate their, their zero to 60 times. So you're gonna be able to get that, no problem. Um, uh, rear wheel drive car obviously um, curb weight is about 4,000 pounds um, you know as we said it's a supercharged V8 uh, 2007 Shelby GT500 the, the kingpin the, the big one all right as we pull back into uh, 
safekeeping. Um, thanks a lot, John. It was, this thanks, was a great Dave. little experience. It yeah, was great. I appreciate it. No problem. Hope everything goes with the goes well with the sale, and uh, I'm sure it will. And uh, I've really enjoyed my my experience in this in this GT500. It's quite an amazing vehicle. Okay. All the thanks, best, buddy. All right. All right. All right, guys, what an amazing experience that was. Full ride, full diagnostic, interior, out, outside, exterior um, of this beautiful 2007, like absolute relic. How do you keep a car that perfect for 15 years? It's, it's such an amazing thing. As I said before, guys, this um, Mr. Patterson, John Patterson, this car is for sale. He's selling it. He wants to, to move his, his finances into other things, maybe a potentially a different vehicle, some other stuff. So this car is going to be up for grabs and I'm pretty sure it's gonna come quickly already just filming this video three people asked us about the car and what we're looking for in terms of pricing so uh, it's gonna be on bring a trailer um, in the next couple weeks uh, if you're interested send me a, send me a message in the comments or DM me and um, we can hook you up okay if you guys are liking the Shelby GT 500s again I've linked my Shelby 2021 Shelby GT 500 absolute beast I've linked that video as well if you're into Shelby performance or sports cars um, in general my C63 tons of different automotive vlogs cars and coffees all that sort of jazz hit like hit subscribe join the channel tons of cool stuff going on uh, hope to see you guys in the next video it's been a pleasure with this absolute beast thank you to John Patterson uh, for giving us the this experience and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.